Hi guys, Rico here. I want to go over how to start a two-stage snow blower. Okay, the first thing you're going to do: take the dipstick out, make sure you have oil on it. Fill up. Unscrew the gas cap. Make sure there's fuel in the machine. Make sure the keyway is in here. This is a safety key. Some machines have it. Some machines don't. Okay. Check for that. Make sure that's pushed all the way in there. The starting procedure, we're going to pick the throttle all the way up to the rabbit. We're going to move the choke over all the way to the right. Sometimes this gets wore out on the machine. It's all the way to the right. You're going to press the primer three times and then pull the cord. If the machine doesn't start, give it a second pull. If it doesn't start from there, do not keep pushing this primer button or you'll flood the carburetor. Okay. Try to turn the choke back one or two positions. Okay. Once we've got the machine started, and I'm not going to start it because you won't be able to hear me, we want to back this choke off as soon as we can and keep the engine running. When the engine's not warmed up and the choke is all the way open, it's going to go whoa, whoa, whoa. After it warms up, it'll run smoothly. Okay, if the machine's still not starting from here, I want to show you a trick that I learned that makes it easier to start. You can use a can of starting fluid to assist you if it's been, if you're having difficulties starting the machine. On any of these Tecumseh motors, what you're going to do is take, there's two screws on the cover. You're just going to take one of them out. It doesn't matter which one you take out. Okay. Get yourself a can of starting fluid with the nozzle on it. Stick it in there. And give it a couple of squeezes. Now we should definitely start. Just make sure that your safety key is in and the throttle is all the way up.